What if I told you that you could take a piece of real life street art and animate it in your videos? That's exactly what artists are doing with profound London based street artist Luke Smile. Together they're teaming up to create an After Effects template from murals that Luke is going to be painting in London. For me, street art was one of the first ever creative outlets that I ever had before trying my hand and becoming a filmmaker. So to blend that physical world of the paint on the wall with the digital world in video animation has to be one of the most creative overlaps that I've ever witnessed. Let's get into London and let's meet Luke. I'm Luke Smile. I have worked with brands like Karl Lagerfeld, Amazon, PayPal, Heartlist. <laughs> I start, let me think of all of yeah, them and I'll start again. Yeah, um, saw this wall growing up for many years and I always see it when I go into Shoreditch and like other artists that I know would always love to paint this wall. It's a wall that's had some like incredible murals on in the past, it's got so much history, it's so iconic. This is such an iconic spot, you've literally got like Village Underground, the nightclub just there. Kendall Jenner right next door. <laughs> yeah. yeah man. Yeah. In here? In there, back in the day, man. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> London for you, isn't it? Uh, you give him everything he wants, you understand? I remember going into Shoreditch when I was a teenager. And I remember seeing like massive, massive murals and the street art just like standing there mesmerized. So it's like it's a pinch yourself moment to be painting that wall. I just kept seeing it everywhere, so it, was, it felt like it was like kind of meant to be. The wall is starting to take shape. It's quite interesting how long this process takes, but it's very, very satisfying to watch, especially when them lines are starting to take shape. So yeah, this is banging. It was never my ambition to become a street artist and do this full time, like my hobby. Smile Sands was the first font that I created. When I should have been doing work, I, I started like work on this typeface. It was just playing around, but I got a really cool job opportunity with Karl Lagerfeld. They asked me to hand paint letters on their new K-City bag range, which was like a real luxury tote bag. And uh, I ate it up, I was like, yes, of course. From that moment, I felt like I could, this, this is a career and I can do this. And yeah, I haven't looked back since. Essentially, Luke's gonna make three separate pieces of graffiti that are then gonna be turned into an After Effects template that creators can download from the Artlist catalog, which is gonna be absolutely mad for creators like me and you to download and use an artist's piece of work. That's super cool and super creative, and I can't wait to see what people do with it. It's not warming up, is it? No, it ain't warming it's up, mate. this can. It's is fucking it? freezing, yeah. yeah. Wearing a glove like this, I can't get the feeling. Yeah. In like, when I'm doing it, I'll so get, yeah, I can't yeah. wear one of them, all right? Ooh. Have they sent you anything from the other day yet? That I've just got tagged in a reel on Instagram. Yeah? Oh, like, it looks so good. Yeah, to see the work come alive, I was just, yeah, super excited, like seeing the videos that Artlist put up yesterday. I was, yeah, took my breath away because I've never seen my letters move that much and in such a cool way. And every, like, the reaction's been, like, incredible so far. So, yeah, so cool. Right, so Luke is on his third and final mural. I honestly don't know how he's still going. He's been doing this all bloody week, painting, painting over it, starting again, and that must, like, as a creative, be a little bit, like, a little bit heart-wrenching, but he's smashing it, taking it in his stride, and it's gonna be sick. Yeah, my earliest memories of going to walls that I started to paint, yeah, it was, it was such an adventure. Like, you might have to crawl under a bridge to get there, get your feet wet in a river, and they, they were the best times, because you were young and you were just out there experimenting. Yeah, using spray paint for the first time was, oh, it was the best feeling. How you feeling then? Happy? Brilliant. Yeah. So happy, it's a finish. My style can take quite a long time to, 
to get right. It probably looks okay to other people at like a halfway through, but I always spend like a long time at the end making sure all the angles are right. I can't sleep at night if I go home and it's, it's a bit off. Stand back and think, oh yeah, that needs to come up a bit or that needs to come down a bit, that angle needs to change. Yeah, make sure it's yeah, exactly how I want it. I feel absolutely blessed to be part of this campaign with Artlist. When I started out, I could never imagine of doing anything like this. This font, particular, Smile Sands, it means so much to me. It's like my baby. Like I made it and it's been with me all this time and it's what's got me to this level as an artist. If I saw that Smile Sands was used by another creative and it kick-started their career, I'd be super proud because it shouldn't just be for me to use. It should be shared. After spending three days with Luke and exploring that format of creativity that ignited my own passion for being creative and then obviously picking up a camera and doing what I do today, and to see Luke's artwork that's on the wall come to life in the edit, I've never been so proud to see a project like this come to life. It's so inspiring to see what can happen when someone actually follows and pursues their passion against all odds. I think that's something that every creative out there, no matter what format or what medium that they're in, can really feel and understand. So head over to Artlist to download Luke's template and watch your titles come to life.